Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of the Kaz. In this episode I am going to be unboxing, literally, something that I've been meaning to show off. I collect lapel pins, different types of lapel pins from Olympic pins to things that mean something to me. But in this box I have a bunch of pins I've been saving to put in my display cases. So let's see what's inside that I haven't put in my display case yet. And I have a whole bunch of pins. Eh, should I dump them out? Let's dump them out. Let's dump them. Let's dump them all out. Oh, well, look at all these pins. Oh, well, look at what it looks like. We've got some Olympic ones. We've got different types of ones. So let's let's go through them. Look at all of them. That is a. Those are a whole lot of pins there. So let's start with this one. I'll put them back. Oh, one more there. I'll put them back in the box once they're done. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the Def Leopard 2018 Rock Brigade pin. When the past year, oh, well, in 2018, I took my wife to a Def Leopard Journey concert in Albany, and for um, our anniversary, as an extra present, I joined for her the uh, basically. It's called the Def Leppard Rock Brigade, which is basically a, a fan club. And with it, she got, uh, what'd she get? She got a t-shirt, she got some, not not too much. Not too much for the price that I, I paid, but I kept this. This is one thing, this is another thing that I got with the price of the of the uh, tickets. And so I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this. This is nice. It has two, two, um, two bars back here. Two studs to put on your your jean jacket or whatever you wanted to uh, put it on your backpack, whatever. But, uh, that's that. This is a Welcome World, We're Ready, 13th Olympic Winter Games in Lake Placid, 1980 uh, Winter Games. This is a button that I got at a local antique store. There's that button. American flag button. Okay, this is 1980 Winter Olympic Ronnie the Raccoon, downhill ski gear. I think I may have this one. I just got that lot at the end, uh, at the um, auction place. So there's that with a bar pin there. Looks like I got it for about eight dollars. This is... what is this? This is... oh I think I got this... Oh, I forget it's either from... I got this as a present. Obviously this is um 2002 Salt Lake Winter Games pin. Betty Crocker corporate pin. Here, this is... Team 2002 Salt Lake. Looks like uh, this um, it's probably bobsled. I don't know. It looks like it's a bunch of shirts there. Salt Lake 2002. There's the back there. What's this one? This one is a oh Chamonix, USA 1924 team. I doubt that this is an original to 1924. It's because I didn't really use these types of pinbacks um, back then. But, uh, and I really don't know if they had many pins back then. So that one was, um, by the second Winter Games. Here is a Calgary 1988 pin with a saddle there. So, pin back there, looks like it was for $10. This one, All State Corporate, Salt Lake City Winter Olympics, uh, 2002 pin. This stuff on the back there. My sister gave, um, brought this back from Washington, D.C., nation's capital. It's a nice pin, uh, pin there for Washington, D.C. The wa White House Capitol Building and the uh, Washington Monument there. What's this one? This one looks like a Ronnie. Nope, no, this is a Calgary one with the, the bear mascot there. And he's doing some downhill skiing there. Doesn't have a pin back there, but it's the back of him. This is, looks like a tie tech here, tie pin. This is a Lake Placid 1980 Winter Games tie pin. I guess I think I've worn this, worn this to, uh, to work. This is a Central Liberty Centennial pin, 1886 to 1986. My parents got this in a uh, an auction lot that they won. And got a bunch of Los Angeles pins. What's this? This is just a piece of paper. Disney. Tie right back. This is a Procter & Gamble Corporate USA pin, tie back, or 
pin back there. This is an m and corporate one. Hockey. Doesn't say what year it is. Made in Taiwan. Is that the orange or the red M&M there? Played some hockey. Looks like on the back there it says copyright 1991 in the Canadian Olympic uh, Committee for some reason. This one is the United States with the American flag in it. Very nice. The bar, the bar pin there. This is, I think I may have shown these off before, but anyway. I got this trading online with somebody. We got a bunch of these here. This is the Vancouver Olympic Paralympic Committee. Official venue, 2010 Winter Games. Here's a corporate co um, pin from Kodak for Calgary in 88. This one in is a Moscow Coca-Cola corporate pin. For the summer games then. This is 92 Albertville. Coca-Cola corporate uh, pin, and here is a Shiba cat food corporate pin. Very nice. Yeah, I traded I traded some Los Angeles pins for um for those. This one is for Fort Ticonderoga, which is near me, here in upstate New York. Uh, it's a little bit uh, north of me. What's this? This is a little teeny tiny. Canadian flag. The, the, the back in here is bigger than the pin itself. It's kind of funny. This is a Los Angeles pin here. 80, 84 some games. And this is a, a dancing bear pin I got up in Lake Placid. No, I got it at the um, Adirondack Museum and the, for the Adirondacks. Nice dancing bear from the painting. And this is oh, another Salt Lake. Salt Lake had some very, had many, many uh, pins that year. This is Corporate Sports Illustrated pin. Got this as a trade, I believe. And what's this one? This one is a another Betty Crocker one with the um the hamburger helper guy there. For um for Salt Lake. This one is Albertville ninety two McDonald's ski jumping. This one is well. Uh, Lake Placid Winter Games. I think I have a few of these. Yeah, it's like a bar pin there. This one is Olympics in Innsbruck. What's that say? Um, Olympistad Innsbruck. 1956 Cortina, USA Olympic team. Okay, I'm not sure if this is authentic. That's 56 Cortina. Another Sports Illustrated. Corporate pin. Bar back there. This one is an Albertville 92 USA Olympic Rings pin. This one is a Saratoga. Saratoga is about a half hour south of me. And every year they have a different pin. So this is from 2007 for the race course. We collect these two. Here's a Soviet one. I got, I believe I got this in a um, antique store in Bolton Landing. It was on Lake George. Very simple. Not. Not too flashy for because it's a Soviet pin, of course. This one. Um, I do know how to read some Russian, and that says Cosmos 188. And um, I knew that's not Russian, but um, that says Cosmos. So it's obviously a 
is some sort of space station, some sort of satellite that the Soviets must have had, which probably crashed eventually. And this monster. I do have this one. I do have this one already, but I got this in a lot. This is the Salt Lake City Monster Corporate. Monster, if you don't know, was a um, it's a job posting company. I'm not sure if it's in some existence in 2019, but keep it back in there. This is a Disney one here. I already have the pins up. White face. I remember getting this as a white face with little Olympic ring, rings there. Yeah, white white face is a uh, not too far away from Lake Placid. It's in Wilmington, New York. But um, it's that one. I got a few more left here. Here's an old one. This is a Sarajevo with their uh, wolf mascot. Sarajevo '84. Looks like the slalom. So they start, um, started to use more. Getting away from the bar. But, uh, bar pins there. This is just a generic, um, okay. Alaman 1936, Olympic team. Yeah, it's lovely that the Olympic is uh, rubbing off there. The back there. Made in China. I got this one also at the place up in Bolt Landing, the antique store up in Bolt Landing. It's a, a Soviet pin, red. This is red enamel. I don't have golden, golden metal there with Lenin. In the middle there, bad men, a very, very bad man. There's a back there. There's Lenin. It's neat. Being a child of the 80s it's, and living through the Cold War, it's uh, pretty neat to have something like that, though. There's uh, one of my only Sochi ones right now. It's a Sochi United States Olympic pin. I think I got this up in Plat. No, my wife bought, got this for me online. That's what my wife bought this for me. It was a present, I think, for Christmas. Sochi. Mm, so this one is a Kellogg's. Sponsor for um, Frosted Mini Wheats, their bobsled uh, sponsoring the US bobsled team back in 92. Kellogg's, a few more here. Uh, Lithuania, I'm, I'm part Lithuanian, so I'm not sure what the 70 means. I have to look that up, but here's the uh, Lithuanian flag with the Olympic rings there. That's that's another Nagano, 19. Nagano 1998 Lithuanian pin there with Olympic rings and the Olympic flag or the um, Lithuanian flags there. And this is a US ski team pin. And lastly, we have Ronnie, the raccoon, 1980, Lake Placid. I got this at a um, for six dollars at a local antique store. Lake antique store is a very good place to get um, finds for pins, this memorabilia, stuff like that. Don't don't hesitate to go into your local antique store, no matter where it is. You may find something in there that may not be related to um, something that you're looking for. Maybe you probably didn't even know that you wanted this, that you wanted something in the antique store that you go in. It's like, oh, that's neat. I just wanna. I like that, and I'll, I'll get it. Didn't even know that it would, they would have some Lake Placid pins, but they did. They had this Ronnie one. And I'll open it up here. It's plastic. It's just like my hockey one that I have. It's discolored. It's yellow discolored, but the back of it's white. Pin there. Up and back there. And um, it's just dis discolored yellow with um, Ronnie the Raccoon right there in the middle. And that's it. Well, I want to thank you for coming to this episode of the CAS. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Say bye, Ronnie.